Hello and welcome to Veeam. In this brief video, I want to show you a few things that go into answering the question, what type of backup should I take? Now here at Veeam, there's a number of different ways you can back up data and systems, and that's changed a lot recently. The Veeam platform is really incredible, can do nearly anything you might need to do in regards to backup. That makes sense because our mission is to be the most trusted provider of backup solutions that deliver modern data protection. Now let's take a look at some of the different ways you can have backups done with Veeam. One of the most all-encompassing and, and really frequent ways to do backups is an image level backup. Now this is a great way to back up a virtual machine, a physical server, and you know have everything you need, but it also works for workstations and endpoints as well. Now the image level backup is great, fully portable, almost any scenario we can restore to the cloud, to different hypervisors, back to bare metal, a lot of flexibility. The next level is maybe a little bit more specific for certain systems where you know the different data type, and those are volume level backups. Just this drive, just this drive letter, a very specific way to do some sort of captures. Then there's file level backup. This is pretty attractive as well. You can entertain backing up just this folder, these, these files on a system. And that's also something that you can use for our NAS backup engine, which is a recent innovation that we've done to allow you to back up large expanses of data on NAS systems. Now also, there's relatively more options across all the different data you might have, and you can mix and match. One of the other ones that comes up a lot are around some of the enterprise apps. And there are two plugins in particular I want to highlight. Oracle with RMAN, as well as SAP HANA. Now these plugins, and SAP for Oracle as well, uh, these plugins will back up the application kind of in native terms, uh, where those applications drive the backups and Veeam provides the storage. Now you can get into some very interesting combinations where I might back up with both, an image level backup and these application backups. You might also do an image level backup with one system and pull some files out as well because you might have different retention requirements. There's incredible flexibility that you have with the Veeam platform. Now most of this is driven by Veeam backup and replication. The Veeam agents can help out as well as these plugins. And then also if you think about the cloud and uh, the different other backup products we have like Casting K10 by Veeam as well as Veeam Backup for Microsoft Office 365, the platform is really growing and strong in the market. So let's take a look at a quick demo of Veeam Backup and Replication. I'm going to show you some of these different backup types in action. Okay, so I've jumped into the lab and I want to show you a few things. First of all, I have one job that I'm going to highlight here. This is a Windows agent job, so the Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows, and I'm backing up one SQL Server database inside of a protection group. Now this is using the image-based backup, but let me show you a few options that help set this up. First of all, with the agents, there's a really cool option to either manage it by the backup server or by the individual agent. So in this example, I'm collecting one or more systems and I'm going to manage it by the backup server. So all the options are centralized, which is really versatile on scale. Or I could have independent agents with their own settings that come into Veeam. Very flexible. I've given this job a name, pretty straightforward, and I've identified which computers, which would be a protection group, and these are SQL Server systems that are dynamically discovered. And this can be through Active Directory organizational units, it can be through IP addresses and name lists, it can be through a CSV file exported from your CMDB, and it even has the ability to do a catch-all type of protection group. Now, the protection of these agents is set right here. Which mode am I going to do these backups with? So that entire computer, that image-based backup, that would be that setting right here. Now the other option I can do is potentially if I wanted to do a volume level backup. So just a, a few drive letters. There's a use case for that. You know, I, I like the entire computer, but if you have really big systems, sometimes you get into different drives, have different types of backups. And then the other thing you can entertain is, is file level backup. And I, I'm going to make this one red because I have a better way to do that, and I'm going to show you that here in a second. But you have a lot of options. Now, they each have their own benefits, their own use cases, and when you play with the different uh, scenarios in your environment, you'll find that some of these make a little bit of sense for your different uh, configurations. 
So the next option is where are we going to put these backups? So when I look at the uh, backups that we do here at Veeam, one of the first questions I always get is how much storage do I need? And in this example, I'm putting them on a deduplication appliance, but I have a couple of options around how much do I keep? And I'm only keeping 14 restore points here. So in this environment, that's 14 days, but you have a lot of options to, to set that up and you can make backup copy jobs go longer with that. But it's very flexible for those image-based backups. And you can even see, I could even get into some of the different type of options. If I'm having, say, multiple backups per day, then I can build my retention to be based on days versus restore points. So there's some flexibility there. I mentioned that this is a SQL server and consistency is one of the things that make a big difference for applications. So the magic here is the application aware processing. So let's take a look at that setting here. Now this particular protection group has SQL server virtual machines in it and I have a really good couple of options in here. One is that I want to back up the logs every five minutes. So even though, and I'll show you on the next part of the wizard, the backup job runs once a day. So at face value, you might think my recovery point objective is 24 hours. But for the SQL Server data, I'm actually able to get a recovery point objective of five minutes because I can drive log-based recovery with, with Veeam technology here. So very easy way to do this. And we have a similar set of capabilities for Oracle as well as a plugin directly to Oracle RMAN. So you have so many different ways to do these types of backups. It's very easy to set up. It's well documented over at the Help Center. And then the last option is the schedule. So this particular job I'm running every day at 6 p.m. So again, I have a daily recovery point objective for the whole image-based backup. And every five minutes, I'm backing up those logs. Just like that, that job is easy to go ready and taking backups. Now the next image-based backup I wanna show you is a VMware backup job. So this is kind of one of the types of jobs that Veeam is known for, right? Those image-based virtual machine backups and whether you have VMware, Hyper-V, Nutanix, or some of the other hypervisors, you have great options here with Veeam. So let's take a look at this job. Now, one of the things you're going to see, even though I went from a physical server backup now to a virtual machine backup, a lot of these options are the same. Here's a name for the job. And then it, I'm asked which virtual machines I want to back up. So I have three, nothing fancy, nothing huge, but nonetheless, I have three virtual machines. And I'm then going to be prompted, where do I want to put these backups? So guess what? similar type of answers. I'm putting them on the same deduplication appliance and I have the same type of retention. So as I build these different types of jobs, whether they're image-based, file level, and, and such, you're, you're going to start to see a recurring theme of some of the common ways to build backup jobs with Veeam. Same thing, restore points or days, and then I get into the retention and um, the application-aware image processing settings. So I have same options set for both file system indexing and application aware image processing, which will drive me the best type of backup to take uh, of these systems, ensuring the healthiest potential recovery. And then the schedule. I'm running this at a different time. I don't have log copies going on because there is no SQL, Oracle, etc. on these. So this is a 24 hour RPO set to run every day at 7 p.m. And that's it. So now the last job I want to show you is a file share backup. So this is a relatively new type of backup with Veeam and it's really changed over the years. So in the previous example, I showed that you could do an image level backup, a volume level backup or a file level backup, and you can actually still do that. But if you have a lot of files to backup, this is the way. This is the file share backup on the NAS engine. So let's take a quick look at that. So again, I set a name for a job, pretty straightforward. And I'm gonna ask myself, what file share do I wanna back up? So I have this share called Air Data. It's a whole bunch of uh, webcam scrapes and the like. I wanna back that up. And I could add other file shares that I might have if I have any in the environment, which I do. And I can even browse down and find some of the different uh, folders. So even within a file share, if I really wanted to protect 
you know, silicon lift and oxygen blow, for example, um, you could protect those differently than you could say the whole thing. The, the questions start getting the same. Where do I want to put it? So I'll put it on that same dedupe appliance, but there's actually a couple interesting things that are a little bit unique to the file share backup. One is file shares and file backups are a little bit different than the image-based backups that we've done for VMware virtual machines, Hyper-V, Nutanix, and physical servers. File share backups, we entertain the idea of versions or revisions of the file. So by default, we're keeping all file versions for the last 25 days, or sorry, 28 days. But you can also get into some longer term retention if you'd like. So with this option here, I can keep the previous file versions for say three years. That's a long time. If I needed that long term retention, then I could even use the cloud if I wanted to. So I have a lot of different options here. And I could also take these backups and put them on a secondary target. So one of the regular storage repositories that I have in my environment, this is the list of those. If I wanted to have a second copy for that 321 rule. And then the schedule sounds familiar. This schedule is very similar to the rest of the scheduling. And again, it just quickly and easily makes this backup job. So I've shown you a couple of different ways that you can make you know, image-based backups of virtual machines and then also some of the configuration options for physical machines. And then I've shown you file share backups. And those are just a quick peek, you know, whether you're talking about some of the other operating systems, other hypervisors, or even the cloud. Beam has a lot of great ways that you can do these incredible backup types. Now let's take a look at a quick presentation that'll show you a little bit more about the platform. So Veeam's goal is to be the most trusted provider of backup solutions that deliver modern data protection. And that's a high level statement that really builds off the technology I just demoed to you. So the different backup solutions go really across all of the different data sources that, that you might be using, right? This portfolio of backup solutions really goes on the products we're all using today. And I only showed you a VMware backup, a SQL Server Windows backup, and a file share backup. But there's so much more to it. So the reality is, when we say modern data protection, we're talking about backup and recovery. We're talking about cloud mobility. We're talking about analytics and monitoring, as well as orchestration and automation with governance and compliance. All of these capabilities build this broader set of options. I mean, people come to us for backup, but then when we think about having this cloud data management platform in play, all of these capabilities work together. And it's really powered a lot by Veeam Backup and Replication, you know, the product that gave you that really quick demo with all the different backup modes. And there's so many other stories that can go with it, but I hope that that gives you a really quick view of the Veeam Cloud Data Management Platform. So I've shown you a couple of different scenarios where Veeam and the different technologies can really capture data and do these various types of flexible backups across your environment. Now, if you like what you've seen, go on over to veeam.com and download a trial today.